This we talked about real, real quick in chapter one, but it's absolutely worth repeating. And we're going to talk about creating planes. Okay, so let's uh, let's get some geometry that you haven't seen. So I'm just creating a crazy spline shape and we're going to give that an extrusion. Okay. Now, part of what our design intent is to get something in the dig out this center point. Now, we could use a um, we could use one of the normal sketch planes and sketch it from there um, or we can create our own so that's what we're going to do so based on this right plane we are going to go into surfaces reference geometry and create a plane alright so it defaults to the last time we used it and we obviously don't don't want the plane out here because our feature needs to be created inside of this. What can help is you can go into the top view and now you can dial it in a little bit better as to where you want it. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back into my isometric view and with this plane selected, highlighted here, left click left click the icon so you don't go in and rename it. Uh, you can, but I don't waste my time unless it's a really well-known well-known um, plane that I need. So let's uh, select a sketch. So over here it shows us we're in the sketch mode. Now we can go normal to use a circle Let's move that in the center here a little bit. Go back to our isometric so you can see where we drew. Um, let's give it a cut extrusion, which will go in both directions. And um, let's carve it out everything it goes through. All right. so now you can see if you start throwing um, alright so once you use the plane if you don't think you're gonna need it you can hide it but let's say you wanted to create an additional plane from there you don't have to you don't have to have it visible so when you hover over it so left click over this icon and bingo it comes up and gives us a, a new plane and this one is invisible alright um, so that is helping us out with creating planes while in the feature mode. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you on the next one.